Right. So I've had these tags for ages. Um, I never really fancied doing a tag journal until now. I don't know why, but I'm really just in the mood to do something like this. So today I'm going to work on the cover, and I've used my um. I've got one. That's not, yeah. I got some of these. Um, from work, they were being thrown away. So I've been using the plastic from them because I like to recycle. So what I've done, I, I embossed it first in my Sizzix. Um, and then I cut the shape out because when you put it through the Sizzix, because it's embossing it will distort the plastic a little bit so if you cut it out first it might end up a slightly smaller size so I embossed it first and then I cut it so I knew it was going to be the right size and I've gessoed it with clear gesso and what I'm going to try because I've not got many colour families if you see what I mean I've got purple I do purples but yeah I could do with some like more greens and more reds and it's just having the space for them though isn't it but anyway um, what do I start with I think I'll start with the blue. Water spray. Ready? Um, do I want to spray them or drip them? You know what? I might spray them for a change, but I usually drip. Maybe. I'm gonna spray today. Just in the mood. Just spray. Hands blue already. <laughs> oh, because I've sprayed this, that's why. Okay. Mm. Wow. Okay. Just give it a final spritz of water. You know what works really well with these I've found? This is a homemade alcohol ink and when you spray it on it, it kind of has a little reaction, it pushes it. See? So we'll add a touch of that as well. Let's see what fun things it does. And then I think, because it's plastic I don't really want to heat it. So I will leave that to dry now, somewhere. Um, come back when it's all dry and I've got another idea, because I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> that was all I had. But I am liking it so far, so... I'm sure something will come to mind and I will see you then. Okay, quickly whilst it's quiet. I see that. Probably start up again. 
just decided to add just a little bit of white. Mm -hmm. Just so. Um, I mostly just want to catch the embossing, but it's not really working. Or if I try with a baby white. dry brush mm. oh, that's wiping the gesso off underneath, great so, just dry brush it on. Try and blend it a little bit where it doesn't. Is gesso, so it will die back. Hopefully, won't just look so bad. It's way too warm today, and has been for the past few weeks. It would be okay if I didn't have to go to work. I do have to go to work and the air conditioning is broken and my office is about 35 degrees daily and it's not very nice. Apparently we've got another week until the air conditioning is fixed. Oops. Just hope they fix it <laughs> and don't come out and say, oh actually, you don't need this part, you need this part. Oh, that's another f six weeks wait. Never mind, I haven't died yet. Shimmer from the Lindys. Isn't that lovely? Lovely. And I can always add a bit more Lindys if I want to over the top of these gesso. Uh, just wanted to add a bit more interest to the background, really, and lighten it up a bit. I have the. Uh, lovely flower fairy to go on. Um, when I first started card making these, this sort of material was quite popular and I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. You get it in silver or gold and it's die cut and you just pop it out and you decoupage the pieces like that go on there but I didn't want to decoupage her I just I've got the bottom layer there 
that she's going to go on there. And then I think I'm going to put some 3D flowers around, probably ones that I've made for baby wipes. And then I might have to come up with some sort of title for the tag journal, but I might not do that straight away. I might add that at a later date when I can think of an appropriate title. Maybe when I start working on the pages and the theme might pop out or I might just call it a tag journal. I don't know. So... tempted to hit it with a heat gun because I want to kind of get on with it. You know what, I'm going to leave it and I should go and have some breakfast because I'm quite worked with it. <laughs> so I'll leave that to dry and I'll be back. Ugh, I'm going to turn the camera on and they stop the noise again. Right, so I've decided to, I'm not, still not happy with this so I'm going to add some drippiness to the background. too much water because it seems to be pulling up the clear gesso. So I'm going to add all my colours and then spray it a little bit. Um, 
some black text, couldn't I? Um, try that again. Um, yeah, so I'm holding the heat gun quite high so that I don't melt the plastic. So I'll dry that off and I'll be back. Before I go straight for black, I'm going to try this purple. And again, I'm really sorry about the noise. I'm trying to get this video done.
builders outside today. So here is my tag book. Already. And I've left it space there for the title if I put one on. I might just put quote or something on there. And that's already. Yeah, it's a bit floppy, isn't it? I might back it on some card or something. And there's only eight pages, I think. So I'll probably use these to draw around and add some like craft card and fabric and just have general play. Um, so hopefully soon, I've already got an idea of how to start a page. I don't know where it's going to go, but yeah, so hopefully that will be the next video. Well, the next one will be Mission Inspiration because I'm halfway through that, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon.